froze as Roxy took a step toward him, cracking her knuckles. Luca knew he had one chance to save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Dawn had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand.
bit much, if you ask me. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. The phone booth was brand new, part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. The path led into a small hollow at the edge of Weepwood. The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Luca often asked himself what Rolla would do, so that he could rule out that option. flew from the fence. The light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. One more to go. The fence's buzzing gave way to silence. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now, it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. There was only one way to find out. <laughs> the 
water looked almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the woods. He heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. The sound of footsteps grew louder. steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy, but don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. This is a story about change. It was far from the sort of chain, but chain B. I probably should have warned you. There are many paths most will let me from here on out now. Let's. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Solomon Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. I <laughs> 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 
Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Mm-hmm. 